So what are the technologies that make Sony 3D great? Well, first of all, it's in full high def. Everything you get in high def now, now in stereo. One image for each eye, full 3D experience. We do this by taking that projector method where we have two projectors, one for each eye, and shifting the frames so each 60th of a second goes to a single eye, left and right, alternating like this. That's the core of how we create 3D. One of the things that can happen when you implement this technology is you can get something called crosstalk. Basically, if you see a little of the left eye image in the right eye or vice versa, you get a ghost or actually a little edge on the object. So what we do with our 240 hertz panel is make sure you see just the left eye, just black, just the right eye, completely isolating the left image from the right image. This gives you a crisp, sharp image. Another issue in designing the system is how comfortable are the glasses. What you can do is completely block all the light going into the eyes. And you can see this especially on 50 hertz lighting in Europe. The actual room flickers because it's blocking out the whole eye. Sony's system is flicker free. We do this by designing a system that blocks only the screen image, not all the light in the room. It's really quite interesting how it works. So if the glasses are off, this is how the room looks. You can see everything. You can see both images on the screen. When the system engages, if you could slow down time fast enough, you'd see that just the TV screen image is blocked for the right eye. All the room lighting can still get in all the image can get to the left eye, then you move to the next fraction of time and both the eyes cannot see the screen. This helps us get that crisp separation of left and right eye by improving the timing. Then you see the image in the right eye, again just on the screen and just the screen is blocked. On the system I was describing before, what you see is the entire eye is blocked so that you're getting light in on one eye and completely nothing from the room around you on the other. Then when you see the other eye, it is completely blocked as well. You can tell which kind of system is in play simply by looking at the glasses. If you can tell a difference when the glasses are on or off, either they get darker or you can see them shimmer, or flutter, any of those kinds of things. If you can tell the glasses are on and off, it's blocking all the light and it's doing it off and on. So you do see some light, but you can actually tell a difference between the glasses on and the glasses off. So blocking just the image makes for a much more comfortable experience. As well, the physical design of the glasses are gonna have a big impact on how much you enjoy 3D. Most people are gonna set up their 3D sets in a regular room with lots of different light sources and the design keeps those other light sources from impacting the viewing experience by reflecting off the back of the lens and, and causing differences in, in sort of the light in the room. As well, you want to adjust it to fit any member of the family. You can physically bring the arms in. As well, the nose piece is fully adjustable so that you can set it to fit each individual viewer. Finally, the ear pieces are also flexible so that you can bend them to provide that custom fit. And most importantly, for people who already wear glasses, the glasses are big enough to fit over even the most stylish pair of glasses. How do you maintain image quality in a bright room when you're essentially wearing sunglasses to watch TV? With Sony, we use a technology called LED Boost to give us the brightest picture on the market for watching 3D. It's very simple. When those 3D frames are on, we boost the output of the LEDs to make the image brighter just when that frame is available to your left eye or right eye. This gives you a beautiful bright picture no matter which room you set it up in. So you don't have to necessarily make your room into a cave. You can still have a bright, beautiful picture with Sony's LED Boost. The final piece in the puzzle for the optimal 3D experience is image processing. At Sony, we build everything from the lens to the living room, from the cameras that shoot the movies and the sports, to where they're edited, to how they actually get onto your screen, to the screens themselves. We have a lot of experience in image processing. We take those technologies that give us 
fantastic color and maintain it through the entire system and we put them into the Bravi Engine 3 and other technologies such as live color to make sure the colors are accurate and correct just as you remember seeing them in the theater they'll be reproduced on your Bravia. The Advanced Contrast Enhancer works with your backlight to make sure that the contrast is optimized and looks as good as it can possibly look. Finally, we have Image Blur Reduction, which takes images where the source might actually be blurred and sharpens it up to give a nicer, more natural look on the television. At Sony, we make all the technology that allows sports producers, movie directors, and game developers to build the most immersive experience possible. We want to see that in our homes, and we've put all that technology in the latest Sony 3D TVs, TVs that give you the ultimate 3D experience.